Well, hello, Crime Stuppers. I'm happy to report that uh, 10,000 people showed up for Ron Paul. Uh, I'm happy to report it, but I'm just some guy on the internet. Where's the mainstream media? Let's see, here's, uh, where in the world is Ron? This comes off of Fox Nation. This is the same day that he was uh, speaking to over 10,000 people. And I say over, and I should have got the other pictures, because outside of this, in the trees, there were people. There's a great shot, uh, if you go to the Facebook pages for Ron Paul, where they have uh, the people, I mean, kids in trees <laughs> trying to see, because they could not get in, because there's uh, 10,000 people wasn't enough. Uh, there's another shot of it. 10,000 people. That's not newsworthy, though. Not newsworthy at all. Look, here's uh, the Romney rally, and here's Ron Paul's rally. Now, here's the thing. You know, to be fair to Romney, Ron Paul would only fill this whole area here, and probably just this back area, and maybe a little spill over here. He wouldn't have filled the whole stadium, but just, you know, probably this, this whole part right back here would have been full if it had been Ron Paul, um, or in a similar stadium, you know, stadium. Let's see here. <laughs> here is... Here is uh, Yahoo's coverage of the new Nothing! Nothing. You can go there now and see that there's nothing. I'll go there in a second. Uh, here's NBC Politics. It's the politics page. Even down here under more political news, what do you see? You see butt kiss. That's what you see. Um, let's go live right now. This is, this is uh, the political hot sheet at CBS. CBS. That should say S-E-E-B-S. Let's see here. If we look over here, we've got a Holder and Santorum and Romney and Obama and off screen you can't see it. There's another Romney, Veep Stakes, right? And then let's see here. McConnell, well, about 10,000 people show up for Ron Paul. And let's get all the way to the bottom of the page. Not even a mention of Ron Paul. Let's get down here. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh look, there's Santorum. There's Newt, even. Uh, let's go. Oh, nope, nothing. Nothing there. Not a damn thing about Ron Paul. Uh, let's go over to, uh, see, and this is for the people who are so stupid that they think that the <laughs> mainstream media isn't controlled and isn't ignoring Ron Paul. This is the day after. Yesterday was uh, the day that was Wednesday that he pulled 10,000. And there was another crowd there, uh, you know, where he filled, you know, 5,200, I think it was. This is Thursday, April 5th. And we can peruse the media and see that Ron Paul, it's silent. It's a total blackout. 10,000 people. Uh, let's repeat that. 10,000 people show up for Ron Paul. And uh, CBS can't seem to do it. How about uh, MSN? Let's just go see what MSN.com uh, has to say. They, you know, because there's... Oh, well, yeah, that's what I want. What's the problem? Okay, so... Uh, oh, look! Uh, certainly isn't going to be on the cover. I mean, come on, uh, what's more important, Kevin Bacon or 10,000 people showing up for Ron Paul? Let's see here, let's, uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, so, uh, that's, you know, that's not fair because, you know, it's not news. Let's go directly to, and uh, do they have a political section? Is there any politics here? Uh, horoscopes, no. Uh, inspiring event, nope, I don't see it. Inspiring, I'm probably not going to, local, hmm, nope. Uh, news? Is there anything in these? Hairstyles? Look at that. You could trim your hairstyle. Okay. Thanks, neglect. Oh, there you go. How about we go to politics? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that was the one I already took a picture of. See? Because there's nothing. And you can see that here we are live. And we got nothing on Ron Paul. Not a damn thing. 10,000 people show up. See, and now when they cover uh, stuff like mercury in vaccines, you think you're getting the whole story? How about a global warming? You think you're getting the whole story? How about, uh, it's great because now when it comes to global warming, they're starting to say, hey, wait a minute, that's a colorless, odorless gas. And they even do spectral analysis and see just exactly what light waves uh, <laughs> is uh, the CO2 or gas in gaseous form reflecting back onto the surface. In fact, does CO2 gas reflect any light waves? Is it a greenhouse gas? And if it is a greenhouse, anyway. Um... Name the topic. Do you think that the mainstream media is giving you uh, about Fox News? We got, we got Fox News. Dot com. We're just playing. We're just looking around. It's just right here's Fox News. Here's their webpage. 
The next day, no, yeah, oh, oh, look, oh, look, Ron Paul's, all, nope, nope, picture Ron Paul, nope, hey, look, there's Dolly Parton, there's Newsworthy, let's go down to politics, let's look in here, this should be good, let's see here, nope, no mention of Ron Paul, <laughs> it's laughable, uh, let's see here, uh, how about this, how about we go over and uh, check this thing out here, hold on a second, so here's a, this is RT, of course, the RT.com. Uh, look at this. Plummeting radiance for the mainstream media. Why would that be? Uh, how, how could that be? I mean, why would, why would they have plummeting ratings when they cover the news so well? Look at this. Uh, oh, wait, let's go to the Ron Paul thing on, on, uh, on uh, Facebook. There's some pictures, more pictures. Look, do you see empty seats? Where are the empty seats? There aren't any. And if you look at that stadium crowd, they're surrounding. And I was looking here, um, but Facebook's new, really ridiculous, stupid uh, formatting. I look, there I am on the Ron Paul page. Uh, we can't find, oh, look, there's more crowds. Oh, there's more crowds. Oh, there was, a, I was looking for the one where he's, where there's guys in the tree. <laughs> I mean, there's, but look, at Chico, there were 6,200, right? Maybe 5,000, who knows, 6,200, okay, so it's still, if you take half of that, that's more than anything the other three guys combined can get. Um, and, I mean, there it is, photographic evidence all over the place that the mainstream media just lies and lies and lies. There, I mean, like, everywhere he goes, there's, there's, you know, uh, this was where, is it Columbia, the Missouri rally? Gee, just a few people showed up there. And uh, over 4,000 people in uh, Illinois, and on and on and on, and if you weren't on the internet, you'd never know Ron Paul had a following. In fact, listen to those uh, retards say things like, uh, like, uh, oh, he, it's, your campaign's basically over, or there, you know, there, I'll put some uh, links down there in the bottom, where basically we have the mainstream media saying, oh, you, you don't have any, your, your campaign has been an abysmal failure, it's really, this is an abysmal failure. They rent more people in that crowd. I mean, it's people are starting to notice that more people are showing up for Ron Paul than we're showing up for uh, Barack Obama in his heyday. Now, where in the world is the media? Where are they? You need to post this stuff all over the place. You, you listening to this, there are probably maybe three or four, or maybe 500 people are going to see this video. Maybe a few more than that. Uh, all 500 of you <laughs> go out and put it in five different places. Um, get out there and let people know this thing's not over. We're not even close to over. And when it comes to the delegates, Ron Paul probably has about 380. By, by my count, I say about 350. I'm just counting up. There's a napkin, back of a napkin thing. 350 delegates. That puts him in second place and well ahead of uh, Sam Torum and Gingrich, neither of whom can catch him because they're not even on the ballot in 50 states. Now, does Romney have more? Yes, Romney has more, but it isn't that much more. And Ron Paul is in a solid second. And even and the beautiful thing is that people are starting to see how many people are uh, coming out for being to be delegates, and they're trying to twist those numbers and you know put their own delegate slates in, and you know t twist and do whatever they can to cheat to keep him out, right? <laughs> and people are seeing it up close and personal now. And now people are seeing. I even ha I have friends that are just, they, they love Fox News. They love the Fox News. I am unplugged, just so you know. And what are they getting on the news? They're getting the hoodie story, Trevon. What are they getting? They're getting, you know, race baiting. Um, they're getting one side of the story on Iran, just like they're going, they're not getting this side of the story. You're not getting the other so side of the story on Iran. Why are people leaving CNN in droves? Well, because it's right there in the headline. Contains no news. That's CNN. Um... You, you, you're not getting news on Libya, on, on what, what's happening in the Middle East. You know you're not getting it in Africa. We didn't get any no story hardly about there was a coup in China. There was a bloodless coup in China. Things have changed in China. Uh, Russia is basically telling us where to go when it comes to uh, sanctions on Iran. And so forth. do you get this in the news? You barely get it in the news. Uh, do you get, like I said, you get one side of the story, they print what they, what their media, uh, or whatever their bosses tell them to do. Uh, let's see, can I find that? Uh, I can't find it in a moment. Quickly, let's see if I can find it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> right? I love that. 
because they do. They just write whatever they're told to write, and that's what you get. Um, and people are starting to wake up to the fact that whether it's vaccine news or health news or medical news or news on cancer or news on politics or news on world news or whatever it is, you get about, you know, at best you get 80% of the story. And if you got the other 20%, you'd probably take a conclusion that was completely different if you would have that other 20% of information. Um, but a lot of times you're not getting any information I'm telling you. How is it possible that we have this kind of thing happening and most people, if they're not paying attention and all they do is get their news from the mainstream media, would never know that Ron Paul really has a revolution going on. Now, here's the idea, guys is no matter what happens, uh, this revolution is just getting started. See, he's smart. He understands the fact. They see all those kids in that, in that there. Those are not conservative Republicans. <laughs> those are people that want the Constitution, liberty, freedom, justice for all, the American ideals that we were founded on, the Constitution that, that this, that this uh, nation was founded on. That's why, they, that's why they're there. They're, they're not there because of the old 76-year-old white guy. <laughs> right? Well, they are because he's the champion of the cause. But you know what I mean. It's the, it's the ideas. The ideas whose time has come. Peace instead of war. Um, you know, offering to trade with all and war with none. Bringing the troops home. 70% of the people are sick of it. The TSA, sick of that. Drug war, sick of that. It goes on and on. This guy speaks. And it wouldn't, and it's not just university campuses where we have, you know, young kids. If you take a look at the crowds that are showing up for, for Ron Paul in other places, it's every spectrum. You, there is no Ron Paul, uh, you know, profile. It is black and white. It's, you know, immigrants, you know, renationalized citizens, and every other, I mean, everything in between. You've got, you know, they try to make him out like, oh, it's just white racist conservatives that like Ron Paul. Everybody likes Ron Paul. And people that are, I mean, people are flooding away from uh, the other guys and even Obama. And again, people don't realize that they had a straw poll up there in the East and 20% of them put Ron Paul, 20% of the Democrats put Ron Paul in their ballot. 80% of course for Obama, but the fact that 20% would write in Ron Paul should tell you something. Um, you guys got to get out there and do more. Spread the word. Get out there and show people what's going on. And the mainstream media shames itself daily now. It's great. I'm telling you, you, you got to look at the cup is half full. In fact, it's more than half full because it's fabulous that this is going on and this is what the mainstream media is writing. The, the compare and contrast, like I said, even the most brain-dead sheep out there are beginning to go, wait a minute, because the crowds just keep getting bigger and bigger and the silence of the media is absolutely making it clear that they're out of touch, that there is a conspiracy to keep it quiet, that Ron Paul is making a difference out there, hugely, because these are the guys that are going to take over the party in the future. These are the guys that are going to make change in the United States in the future, because they're not happy with what's going on right now. I mean, it's just, it's just painful what's happening in uh, the United States with torture and the Supreme Court not being able to figure out that, you know, Obamacare is unconstitutional and on and on. This crazy drug war we've got going on. The fact and the main concept that many of these students here understand, if you listen, if you listen to the, uh, the uh, speeches that he gives and listen to the response of the crowd, they understand the fact that the Federal Reserve is the problem. The Federal Reserve is a private corporation that prints our money for us at interest, and it's causing us grief and pain. And how many of these kids have college loans that they can't pay back? That they're starting to understand that, that you know, being trapped by debt, not a good thing. <laughs> and that, you, that debt enslaves. Now, get out there, put your nose to the grindstone, and inform more people. Don't be afraid to put this stuff on your, on your Facebook page or whatever social media you use and let people know that the mainstream media is completely and utterly out of touch. It's a great thing. It's not a bad thing. It is the change of the paradigm, the change of mind that's going on in the United States. We are waking up in droves. Everybody is starting to see, wait a minute, and our masters are absolutely terrified. Now, Ron Paul, 2012.